Today I'm going to give you the top five easiest ways that you can greatly increase the amount of items that you're able to list on eBay. Hey, it's Don. Today I'm going to give you the top five easiest ways to increase the amount of items you're able to list on eBay. In many cases, if you follow these simple five steps, you may be able to double the amount of listings you get up in the very same time frame you're working on right now. Now, if you're new, it may take you a long time to list a few items. If you've been on for a little while, it may take you even longer to figure out ways to even save yourself a few seconds here or a few seconds there just to speed up the process. If you're able to simplify and adjust each step of the process from photoing to listing, you can greatly increase the amount of items you have up. This is all a numbers game for many, many people out there. The more items you have up, the more you will sell. The more often you list, the more you will sell. So if you list all the time and you increase the amount of items you can list in that same time frame, you can actually list less and still have the same amount or more items up. So saving time is the biggest factor here. When you're new, many people may have trouble listing three items an hour. Some 6, 10, 15, 20. In very specific certain items, we're able to list 45 items in an hour. That's uploading the photos and the whole works. A lot of it may come down for some people to what you're listing, but if you follow these steps, these practices, for whatever you're listing, you will always do better and be able to list more items. Now, one of the simplest things you can do is to have a permanent, always set up place to take your photos at. So if you're doing clothing, having a little studio area that the lights are always ready, 24 7 the stands there are cameras there and the whole works you will greatly cut down the time immediately if you just need to take photos of say 20 items and it takes you 20 minutes every time you set up your stand and your cameras you've already spent a minute on every item and you haven't even done anything yet so having an area designated for that use is super super helpful we actually have two of them I've got one that we can take camera photos with smaller items on a flat surface and we have an area that we can take bigger items with as well. Now there's always cameras set up at those places, whether it be a tripod or a cam stand mounted to the table or counter space where the photos are being taken. There's lights in both of those places as well. We also have other things that we can use for that very same purpose, like duplex scanners that are always plugged in, always powered, always ready to go. So if we get in and we just find something really nice and we wanna list it, all it takes is a flick of a switch and we're ready to go and take photos instantly. It's very quick, it's very easy that way. Now another thing that you can do is actually sort the items you are listing by the category that they are in. That way you're not changing any category whatsoever when you're listing. If we're taking scans of postcards, for example, like this scan stack here, we sorted them by state, we sorted them by holiday. It's very easy to do when you're getting ready and deciding on what to list. As we pick postcards to list, we just set them in different stacks for different categories and off they go. At the end of the day, they're stacked together in that order. So that's a huge plus. Another aspect of this, one other thing that you can do while you're sorting them is sort them by price. Good example of that here, this stack right here are all going to be listed for $27.50 a piece. No one has to change a price at all when we're doing this. Everything is all set up. So all you're doing is a title and then the actual images, and that's all you've got to do to list each one of these cards. Now, cards like this, I can list 45 of them in an hour. And that is a true, honest, legit number. You can also scan them in that same time frame, as I said, because a duplex scanner scans both sides of them as fast as it can pull them into the scanner. You will be surprised how quickly it can scan 45 cards. It can scan 45 cards in about a minute. So in one minute, I've got enough to list for an hour. That's the only reason it's so quick, because everything is streamlined. Now, sorting these out, it doesn't take me any more time to sort them by category or price than it would if I'm just pulling them out and sorting them to begin with to list. And that goes for pretty much anything. If you sell clothing, I would list all of your men's shirts together. I would also then list all of your men's t-shirts together, any sports-related stuff together. 
men's shoes together, then ladies' shoes together. Keep them simple. Keep them in the same categories so you're not constantly changing things in there. When you change a category, in many cases, you will have to change other facts like condition. You may have to change some other item specifics as well. So keep them all together and you will cut off an immense amount of time just by sorting and staging what you're about to list. Now, photoing, it's the exact same principle here. This is a bag that's all been photoed in a specific order. They're all actually separated in here in that specific order through numbering systems. So when somebody's ready to list, it's all staged in order of the way it was photographed so instantly they can take care of it. Certain bags in this bag all are the exact same price and in the very same category. So there's no bouncing back and forth whatsoever. It always makes the best sense to stage everything you do. So another thing is to stage it all up. Now staging goes for everything you list, whether it's clothing, hard goods, large items or not. You wanna set it up so that you're not going to have to constantly be moving lights. You're not gonna be constantly moving a stand or anything else like that. You want to stage every aspect of your listing. Once you get it in your head, you're always just going to do that. It's going to instantly save you more time. You're not going to be moving the camera 20 times an hour. You're not going to be moving your lights 20 times an hour. And if you're scanning the same basic principle, you set up the scanner once, you scan all the items that would fit with the DPI or whatever settings you need. If you start these habits in the beginning, I promise you it would simplify every step of the process to get those items in sorted and to get them up. Now we go a step farther than that even. We stage it before we even buy it. I'm looking at price wise. I'm looking what will I list it with? How am I going to sort it through and all those aspects I know before I've ever shelled out a dime for anything that I buy. If I don't have that plan in place, I'm probably not going to buy it. It's just not practical for us. So stage every aspect of your setup. Use it and do it the same way every single time. And one of the last aspects that I always do is save everything onto an SD card. Whatever I'm taking photos of or scanning or whatever I'm doing, everything goes onto an SD card. And that SD card stays with the items I am going to list. We do tons of scans and tons of photos. So we've got sometimes thousands of items that have been photographed and are ready to list. And if you can't keep them together, it's very hard to figure out where you save the photos or anything along that line. So everything stays together. Same with these items. There's an SD card in here in a hard shell case as well. Paper items that we actually may have to scan in a flatbed or anything else, it sticks with it as well. Same thing for hard goods or bigger items. They all stick with it. You can just take a simple piece of tape or something in one of these little bags and just tape it to the back of an item if you need to. There's tons of different ways to do this. If you're worried about the tape you use, just use masking tape. No problem, no issues whatsoever. We've done it this way for more than a decade, and that's why we can list so many more items than many other people do. We've streamlined the entire process. We've staged the entire process. I list like-to-like -like items constantly. I list items that would go in the same category, even if they're not like-to-like, -like, if that would speed it up. Whatever would speed up the steps that you're taking are what you want to do. You want to streamline it. So obviously the biggest thing here is to do like-to-like -like items and stage everything. Thing. So if I've got a bunch of photos or something, I'm going to set those aside and list those all together. I'm going to photo them together. I'm going to keep them all together in order of the way I photoed them. I'm going to store everything on an SD card so that stays with those items as well. So throughout the process, all I've got to do is grab a bag with postcards and the SD card in there, and off I go with it. I can list anywhere I want. It does not matter where I originally stored them because, again, they're all stuck together. Whatever the item is, keep it simple. Don't make it any harder than it is. If you want to be able to list more items, streamline your process. Streamline every aspect of it. It's far easier and far less time consuming to stage it in the beginning before you ever photo or scan it than it is to try and do it later. Your photos are obviously going to be in the order you took them in. So if you've got different items every other one, it's really going to expand the amount of time you really need to do it. Now, 
it may depend somewhat on the items you were listing, but overall, no matter what you're listing, if you follow these simple five steps here, you're going to have better results across the board. These ideas may even help you think outside the box where you may even think of other ways that I haven't even discussed to save time and to speed up your process. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. It's a snuzzly Wuzzle. Each is a combination of two cuddly animals. Wuzzles just $16.97 each. New poseable Wuzzles only $3.97 each at Toys R Us. All from Hasbro. Oh, neat. And the Wuzzles Color Forms Playset just $6.48. We're Wuzzles Headquarters. It's the world's biggest toy.